to be done with the man who invented celebrating birthdays. Mere killing would be too light. Long, long ago, long ago. Now, you know that song was old before I was born in 1835. My elder sister, Pamela, taught me to strum the guitar when I was a boy growing up in Hannibal, Missouri. After our father died, I was 11, and she helped to support the family by giving music lessons throughout the town. Occasionally, she was paid in money, but more often it was flour or berries or chickens, all perfectly acceptable currency at that time and place. How I miss her. I am the last living member of my original family. My mother and father had seven children half boys and half girls. I was born, I was born modest, not all over, but in spots. I was born with the most troublesome temperament, they told me. What well, was in my nature to be different, dreamy, mischievous, a bit profane, and my parents failed to find any merits in those qualities. Well, my own mother, who, who loved me without question, always told me she thought that I'd end up hanging from the gallows. Well, I had nine near drownings as a boy. One occasion, I recall, after being rescued from the water and carried home, my mother took me. She drained me out, saw that I would live, and then she said, well, I didn't think there'd be much danger. People born to hang are safe in water. Thank you, Mother. Do you remember the path where we met long, long ago? Long, long ago. Ah, yes, you told me you never would forget. Long, long ago, long ago. Now, I really have to stop and thank you for attending and helping an old codger through an unexpected birthday. Well, I knew the day would arrive on schedule, but I had no intention of observing it, whether I was still above ground and breathing or not. Then to all others, my smile you preferred. Love, when you spoke, gave a charm to each word. Still my heart treasures the praises I heard Long, long ago, long ago Long, long ago, long ago Long ago, long ago.